All right, guys, so it's Ricky Repairs back it again. Today we have a 2016 Honda Accord 2.4. So what we're gonna do is replace the rear brake pads and rotors. For this car, I'll be replacing the brake pads only, but I will show you how to remove the rotors. All right, just gonna get started. All right, go ahead and first thing you wanna do is remove the lug nuts, which is a size 19 millimeter. After that, just going to remove the wheels. Just going to remove the caliper now. Alright, just going to remove the caliper. This bracket right here. This top one right here. And this bottom one. Alright, so this has for that one. Going to be a 12 millimeter. All right, just gonna break those loose. Let's get this top one. Break that loose. Let's get the bottom one. This one right here. All right, just gonna pull this off. Let's get rid of this. Let's go ahead and wiggle it. Just gonna put that to the side. All right, so in order to remove this caliper bracket right here, this one in order to remove your rotors you just have to loosen this this one and this one right here and the size for that one I believe is a 17 millimeter yes 17 millimeter so you just have to break that one loose and this one right here after that this little bracket will come off after that the last Phillips you have to release is this one right here. After that, your rotors will come off. All right. All right, go and install your hardware right here. The bottom one and the top one. After that, you first want to clean every, all the surface. After that, spray some brake cleaner on it. There you have it. All right, let's go to break this loose. Move this little cover right here. This is 10 millimeter. And after that, you need a special tool to press this. Unfortunately, we don't have that tool. So go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver. Break this bleeder open. After that, with the small one, just go ahead and put it all the way. Make sure you get a good grip on it quick just like that as you can see the whole thing and after that just go ahead and start tightening it so you should push this caliper bracket in inside so yeah if you don't have the tools and you have to get it done you'll have to improvise just like this as you can see nice and loose so yeah having the right tools is, is the right way to do but since we don't have it we're improvising so yeah this is the one way to do it I'm gonna comment below how do you push this back in we don't have the special tool as you can see that's all to it. All right, just gonna clean on that, wipe it, wipe it down. After that, we should be able to replace it, put it back on. I'm right, just gonna clean that down now. Let's go 
Can I put the new brake pads on? Just like that. Just go ahead and slide it in. Just like that. Let's keep the one on the other side. Struggle a little bit, but there you have it. All right, so there's the new brake pads. Just gonna put the caliper back on. All right, so before we put the caliper guides back on, just gonna grease this part right here. Just gonna pull it out. Just wanna wiggle it a little bit. So just wanna add grease to it. After that, it's gonna slide it back in. All right, so after you grease it, just gonna put it back in. After that, it's gonna tighten these two bolts. For the guides, the guides. Just gonna hand tighten it after that. Tighten it with the ratchet. So the size for that one is a 12 millimeter. Just gonna tighten it down. So there you have it. Last thing to do is reinstall the wheels back on. All right, so after that, just go ahead and put your tires down and go ahead and tighten the lug nuts. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Now catch you in the next one.